Hi everybody, welcome back. So we're out in the shop. We are going to work on a custom order. So this is a picture that a gentleman sent that wanted he wanted me to cut it out. Um, and then we're gonna paint it up and then we're gonna put some lights behind it so it can light up. So the first step of course is getting it cut. I have my pattern down. This is a half inch MDF. It's gonna have another half inch piece behind it so it'll end up being a full inch when it's done. Uh, just blue tape down. Then we're gonna, we have our pattern that we printed out and taped together and then we just use a spray glue, sprayed it on there. We have drilled our pilot hole so we have a place to feed our blade and we are going to get cutting. If I can get my thing to zoom in. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so um, we've got this much done. I am filming this on my phone because um, it was just quicker to grab this in the small stand than the big stand and my tablet and get it all set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this other side because my phone says I only have about four minutes of video room left. And if you wanna see me cut the other side, then just rewind this video and start over at the beginning because it's gonna be the exact same thing. So I'm gonna get this finished getting cut and then we are going to get it, I'm gonna get it all cleaned off and then we are gonna take it inside and get to painting. See you soon. Hi everybody. Okay, so we're back. Let me close my door real quick. Um, so we've got it all finished. I prepped the back piece. So on the other side of this, the back part is actually um, a piece that is cut. So this, will actually go on the back of it and it's going to kind of sit off like this and this is where the lights will live and then it's going to be all um, encased together so we'll have to paint this back piece once we are done with this piece this one um the gentleman when he ordered it he wanted the um just royal blue and the laurel green colors so that's what we have prepped are these two colors what we decided was the main piece is going to be all blue and then we are going to do a little bit of green in the back and then the entire back piece the background is going to be solid green and the lights are going to be white so these are the colors that we used to get our green and to get our blue so we have these two i don't know why my camera doesn't like to focus it's weird okay so we've got craft smart royal blue with some craft smart cobalt blue 
And then for the green, the main color is actually this holly green right here. And then we added some shamrock and some hunter green to get the green color that we have here. Um, I'll put all of these in the description. Just hit that little arrow button underneath the video for, said should say show more or something like that, and a little arrow button. Okay, so we're going to move the green out of the way because we don't need it right now. The main task that we have is to get this piece painted. So one of the hard parts about that is getting in all of the cracks. And so over the years, I have kind of learned a little little hint, a little secret. Um, if you're painting something and it doesn't matter if the paint gets on the back of it, if you're trying to get into creases, just lay it straight on top of your table and you can actually pour directly into it and then just kind of get it all squished in there. And then another thing to do, I'm trying to find the rest of my plastic. Move this out of the way. I forgot to put my backup plastic down. Hold on one second. I don't want y'all have to hear all this crinkling. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I put this piece of plastic down, you'll see why in a second. Okay, so we are just gonna pour into these crevices. Now I don't have to spend a whole lot of time trying to pour around it and getting, making sure all of the inside silhouette is painted. Now we are going to be sure that every piece was caught. And any pieces for some reason that don't get caught will get hit in the next step. This will be fun to do, just cut out a piece and then do this with the resin on the inside. I don't think I've ever done any resin work for y'all. Maybe I'll do some resin work one of these days. Okay, now that we've got everything on the inside covered, we know it's coated, we're gonna pick up put this on my piece of cardboard I have sitting over here for it to drip on. Okay, and then what we're going to do with this, we're going to pick it up. Bring our cup over. Poke a little hole. all that paint back in the cup. All right, there we go. Now we are back to the beginning. We've got our insides painted, and now we can get working on the outside. So we're going to put our triangles back up. All right. We've got our piece here. Clumps spread. Okay.
I put a little bit of the blue in this cup. Put a little bit more, whatever's left. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the laurel green that we have that we want to put on the back piece. We wanna put a little bit of it into this painting or to this, the, to the top. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna pour a little bit of this green into this blue. I'm gonna use my hand to get the flip uh, look. So we're gonna flip on and then back. So now it's a little bit mixed up and we're just gonna kind of sprinkle it on just so we can get a little bit of that green going through. have to be patient. Wait for the paint to fall. Okay. I'm going to go with that. on the drying rack. I'm going to hit it with the air gun real quick. Pop those bubbles.
so I've got that one all situated. We are back here and we are gonna paint the green. This one's really simple. We're just gonna pour it on. that's it for this portion. I'm going to put this one on the drying rack and we will be back when they are dry and we are ready to put the lights on. See you soon. Hi everybody. Okay, so we are back. We have it all painted. It's all dried. Um, the back piece is also all dry. And so now we are going to start kind of building it. So um, I have the towel down so the table doesn't damage the paint. I did take it outside and did a couple coats of spray lacquer to seal the paint. And now we are gonna take the frame. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna put this frame on and then we're actually gonna put the lights in here. And then once the lights are in, this top actually will just slide over and slip in and we'll seal everything together. So the lights are gonna be completely encased, okay? So the way that I glue it on is, um, I just use regular Gorilla Glue. Okay. I always mark my corners of where it needs to go. So I marked it. As you can see, this is top right of where it needs to go. And then what I do so that it dries um, and doesn't shift in the frame, I actually take my hot glue gun and I will seal the edges. So I'm going to make sure it's centered where I want it to be. And then we're going to put a couple dabs in each corner. And that is going to keep it from moving while it dries. So I can actually go ahead and start working and putting the lights on. And I don't have to wait for it to completely dry. Another thing the glue does is also, whenever I put the back piece on, it gives a little bit of a ledge for the back piece to rest on so that it's not laying directly on the mini LED lights. Okay, so we are gonna let the hot glue dry. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and put a seal around the whole thing, which I'm gonna go ahead and do now. Okay, we are going to let all that dry and I'm going to grab the lights and we will move on to the next step. See you soon. Okay, we are back. 
Um, this is completely dry while the hot glue is dry. Of course, the glue on the inside is still curing, but um, with the hot glue on the seam, it's going to keep it from moving and the glue can dry, but we can still continue to work. So we're going to go ahead and put the lights on. Um, these are mini LED lights. I get them on Amazon. They come with this little uh, battery pack. It comes with two 2032, uh, the CR 2032 batteries, and they will actually be placed, let me move this, here on the outside, right at the top, so they can be turned on and turned off, okay? So what we're gonna do is we have our lights, um, and these are white, these are white lights. We have our lights, we have our tape, and then we have the hot glue gun over here off to the side, ready to go. What we're gonna do is the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna get the battery pack put down. Now, make sure when you're putting your battery packs down that um, because this opens up so you can change the batteries um, right here, what you wanna do is when you put it down, make sure that you put the correct side down. If you put it down upside down, then um, you're not going to be open it, able to open it and change the batteries. So all I do is I put a little bit of glue on the back side of it. And super glue is actually wonderful when it comes to working with MDF. It adheres to MDF really well because it's so porous. So we're just going to put this right here, just up here at the top. We're going to push it down. So that way when it's hanging on the wall, um, they can just reach to the top and they can turn it on and turn it off, okay? And that's what this little notch is for. This little notch is so that the cord can come down and be secured on the inside. So that's the next step is we actually want to secure this cord in here. Now remember, this is going to be all covered up so it does not have to be pretty. So we're going to let this dry. Find the end of my tape. There it is. And this is what the tape is for. Okay. Now what you want to do is you are just going to literally go around and we are going to fill in with the lights. Now because super glue, you don't want to, um, it takes so long, you know, for super glue to cure. When I say long, you know, 30 seconds, but if you do one and you have to sit there and hold it and wait and you do another one. I do it this way. So what I do is um, I actually tape right across where the light is. So if you can see that, that's one of the bulbs right there. Um, I will actually put the tape right over the bulb and it holds it down for me. I do this for two reasons. One, it's going to hold it down so that when I go to glue, I can literally just hit glue in a whole bunch of places and it's already held down. Two, it's a good idea when you're first starting to do this and you're, you're visually, um, you'll eventually get used to knowing exactly where the lights are going to be and how much, uh, string you have. But this way that if you start working on it and you end up having not enough lights, you can literally just pick up the tape and shift everything so that it's, um, you know, because if you glue everything down, then it's going to be hard for you to adjust and shift your lights. But if you just have it taped down, it's really easy to adjust. So right now we're just going to go around and we are going to put the tape down. As a piece of cardboard it was drying on as it was drying. Okay. And we are just going to put the lights on and fill up the space.
Okay, now that we have everything taped down, we are going to go ahead and add our glue. Like I said, this does not have to be pretty. This is going to be on the inside. You're never even going to see it. So we don't have to try and make it look all pretty. Okay. Ooh, that was still hot. All right, so now once you've got all of your lights glued down, take that last piece of tape off, get rid of any glue stick cobwebs that you have, and little strings, I call them cobwebs, but they're like stringies, thingies. Okay, so we're going to do all that and then we are going to close it up. So once you get to that part, you are going to drop your back on. This is what you're going to have. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but we'll, we'll light it up when it's dark. But then you can see one little one coming through right there. But um, once it's complete, the back's completely dry, then we will take it into a dark room and turn it on. So we are going to go ahead and glue this in place. Now it drops right in there. And again, we are going to tack it in place with the glue gun. So, so it doesn't shift while we're drying. Let that dry. And then we are going to put our glue on. Okay, we are going to let this dry. And then once it is dry, we will come back. We will paint the back. and then we will look at the finished product. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. Um, as you can see, I've got some paint on here already. We're just going to paint the um, back part of this. I remember this is gonna be hung on a wall, so it back doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be finished. I did tape the edges, blue taped the edges here so we could get a nice line. And you can actually paint your back piece whatever color you want. I normally always try and paint the back part the same color as the inside. But you can always paint the entire block the exact same. This is just the way I do it. 
unless they request something different. When I first started doing these um, on the backs, I would spend a lot of time trying to make sure the backs were painted perfect and um, you know they they look just as presentable as the fronts and as I continued to do these I realized how much time I was wasting on the back part which is something that nobody will ever see and so I um, stopped taking as much time but I used to spend so much time making sure that the back was perfect it ended up just being a waste of time and materials because nobody really cared how the back looked. It took me a lot of years to figure that out. Okay, that part is done. We are going to hit it with the heat gun. If I can figure out, well, it's right there. Go ahead and to get it dry. Okay. We're going to put the hanger on it. All right, we're going to do that part. And I need to actually order a new stamp since we changed the name of the company, but put the stamp on the back and we are done. So we are going to take the tape off. Okay, and that is our complete build. So here it is, all finished. And then let's go take it into the room and let's see how it looks lit up. Okay, we are actually gonna do it in here because it is still dark outside. So here we are, just like this, and we're gonna turn this off. And then here is your light. Alrighty, thank y'all very much for watching. I hope you liked this build. Um, it's something different, something unique, and um, has quite a few steps to it, but the results are definitely worth it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section, and I will do my best to get back with you. Please like and subscribe. Share this channel. Help us keep it growing so we can venture into more stuff. Go and check out my Etsy page, Guided by Faith Designs online woodworkinginfaith.com and guidedbyfaithdesigns.net follow me on facebook woodworking in faith and guided by faith designs um i do have different types of lights available so go on my website go on my etsy page see what else is available if you have an idea of something that you want to see um, or that you would like yourself just send me a message let me know and we will build it together so I hope everybody has a wonderful and blessed day, and as always, God bless.